Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. So today's video is a little bit different in that it's actually gonna be a channel update. So I'm gonna be updating you on what's gonna be happening with the channel, what's gonna be going on going forward, and just really letting everyone know that's interested um, in the changes that are gonna happen. Because I was looking through videos the other day on my YouTube channel, and I realized that I'd only done one channel update and I thought, that's not really very good of me because I should be letting my audience know about the changes that happen. And a few changes have happened over time, quite big ones. So I wanted to be open and honest and just talk to you about it. Now this video could be five minutes long, it could be 20 minutes because I'm just gonna do it in one take. I'm gonna to talk to you and explain to you what's happening. So hopefully it goes okay. Now I'm also gonna explain what's led me to this decision and the kind of journey that I've gone on. So if you're not really interested in hearing about that, then if you just skip through five or six minutes, I'm sure you'll get to the, the juicy bit, which is the change. But if you're actually interested in knowing about it, then stick with me. So about 18 months ago, I started a YouTube channel, which is this channel right here. And I completely fell into it by accident. It wasn't something that I planned. Um, it just happened. And it all happened based on this one moment. So I was talking to this little old lady. <laughs> Sounds like a fairy tale. I was talking to this little old lady and she was explaining to me how she just couldn't understand her mobile phone. And by talking to her friends that were there, they explained that she was just completely unable to grasp information and retain it. So anything that was explained to her, it just went in on one ear and out the other. And she just couldn't hold on to anything. Now, I don't know why. I don't know why this happened. But for some reason, it sparked this termination in me. That I was like, well, I'm going to make her understand. And not in a, I'm going to make you understand kind of way. But more, you know, I'm going to be able to get get through to her in a way about technology that even at her stage in life where, you know, she is in her late seventies, she'd be able to understand it and just be able to use that mobile phone rather than just be struggling with it going forward. So I proceeded to explain it to her. And as I was doing it, I was thinking about the most simple possible way that I could explain it. And it got me to thinking that I should tell her in a way that she would understand or be able to relate to something. So something in her life she, that she could relate to. So I told her this little metaphor and lo and behold, she took in the information and it stayed with her. But it wasn't what happened, but rather what she said, which really stuck with me. And she just really gratefully thanked me and said, that's the first time that she's been able to understand and there's lots of people that have tried to explain to her, but it's the first time that someone had explained it in a way that she'd been able to really grasp and understand it. And she thanked me wholeheartedly. And I don't know why, but that really got me. And it, and it made me think, you know, there's something else. Like it made me feel like I could kind of do something better and add more value in some kind of way. And strangely, that led to the YouTube channel because I was looking for some way of, of kind of spreading it out there where I could kind of get out to quite a few people. I wasn't just going to grab old ladies in the street and say, what's your problem? Let me sort it out for you because that would have been weird. So it got me interested in YouTube. And then I thought, how could I explain or what could I explain to people which would add value to them? So then I thought, what do I know? And at the time I was doing a lot of work for websites where I was doing photo editing and I was doing uh, a lot of kind of photo retouching for portrait and fashion work. And I thought, okay, I could do this. People which want to learn Photoshop and Lightroom, I could show them how to do it. So the YouTube channel started. I had no experience. I didn't know what to do as far as cameras, uh, recording. I was obviously doing photography, but this was nothing to do with YouTube at the time. But I had no kind of video experience. I didn't know how to edit. So I just dived into it. 
And I was quite nervous about the whole thing because when you're displaying yourself out there on camera, it can be quite daunting. But fortunately with these videos, it was very easy for me just to do a screencast video where you record the screen and then you don't really, they don't really get to see you, but they just get to hear you. So I did that. I started to understand though after about five months that it wasn't really rewarding me and it wasn't making me feel good in the way that I hoped it had. I didn't get that feeling like I'd experienced with that woman, that old lady where I'd explained something and she just really got it. I don't know why that was, um, but I just wasn't feeling it. I think part of it was because I was doing Photoshop and Lightroom and even though I quite enjoyed it, it wasn't something that I was passionate about. So I felt like my video started to kind of slip a little and I wasn't putting as much of me into the videos that I should have been. And because of that, probably the audience's um, perception of the videos weren't as, weren't as good as I wanted them to be. They may have thought, well, you know, videos aren't that great. And I wasn't getting that many views. I didn't feel that the YouTube algorithm liked me that much, but I'm sure that's something many of you have experienced if you're on YouTube. Some people just seem to get that big boost and others don't. Now I know there's more involved than that. You've got to do things right. So certainly don't blame YouTube. I just think that uh, some people get that propel, propelling at the start. They get that kind of boost and other people don't. You have to really grind until you get up there. There's lots of facts involved in that and that's a whole other video. But it got me thinking, what am I gonna do? You know, I, I enjoy doing YouTube, but I'm not really enjoying this anymore. And around about that time, I was going out and I was doing uh, landscape photography and I loved going out to different locations and capturing beautiful scenes, beautiful moments and just being able to capture it and then like run home, just show my wife, probably annoy her. Uh, look at this photo I've taken, you know, what do you think of it? And, and also to do it with my friends and none of them are really interested in photography. So you know, thanks for pulling up with me through them times. Um, but then I started to watch videos on YouTube and these videos led me to people such as the infamous Thomas Heaton and also people like Tim Day, which quite a few of you may know Tim um, if you're watching this because he actually lives quite close to me. And Tim's been doing, I don't know how long he's been doing this for, I could be completely wrong, but I, th I would guess about two or three years he's been doing YouTube and he's built up quite a good little audience and uh, he's a great photographer. And Tim, if he's watching this, really inspired me to start going out and recording videos of my landscape photography. And that for me was one of the scariest things to do. Talk in front of a camera for a start and talk around people. That was not high on my list of things to do. And it was very much out of my comfort zone. But I knew that if I could overcome that, and I could get out there and do videos, I'd be doing something I loved because I love landscape photography and it felt like a passion. So off I went. I went out there with no real experience and I just started making videos. So that was that part of the YouTube channel. I was doing vlogging probably for about seven months, eight months, and I had a great time doing it. Unfortunately, once again, I hit this part with the channel where I just felt like it was a real struggle. It was a struggle because even though I really enjoyed doing vlogs, I found it difficult to get out to these locations and have the time around my full-time job, which I was doing then. And also I put this real strong pressure on myself that I had to get one or two videos out every single week. And it's quite frustrating I did that because I think it made the whole experience towards the end of doing my vlogs really not that great. Um, but that, that was my fault, you know, I shouldn't have put that pressure on myself. I, I believe that if I didn't get one or two videos out each week, then my audience would, you know, feel that I wasn't doing a good job and then they'd drop off. And then it all became about how many subscribers I could get. And it kind of took this real negative turn and it kind of spiraled downwards where I almost just felt like I just don't want to do any vlogs for a while. I just want to give it a break. I don't want to have to put that pressure on myself to go out and I've got to get a perfect vlog, I've got to get perfect photos, otherwise, you know, people are going to think that it's terrible and, and all this. 
really it's just my mind was going over over the top about these things and I was finding problems where there weren't really problems. And then this led me to the next chapter of the channel. This is quite a long video, isn't it? Now, I apologize if you've watched to this point, you're like, just get to the point, Ben, I'm nearly there. But it led me to this point where I really enjoy testing out new cameras. When I say testing out new cameras, I had no experience with it up until this point, but I started watching a lot of reviews and seeing new cameras and new equipment that was coming out. And then I was like, do you know what? I'd actually like to try doing that. So I did. I started getting products in and I started testing and reviewing them. And a lot of you will probably be aware of this. You would have watched my later videos and you'll see this on the channel. And I did enjoy doing it, but I've got to be honest with you. It's not the most rewarding thing to do. And something I've understood about reviews is that not every one of your audience is going to want to see a review on the latest camera. And if you're really adding value to your audience, it's not something that I should be just pushing out there all the time, doing these videos on the latest cameras and what they're like. And also it's really tough. If you ever watch a review channel and you think it's easy doing a review on a camera, it's not. If you wanna do a good job on a review, you've got to know your stuff. And if you don't, people will be very quick to jump on the comments and tell you that you've got it wrong. And uh, that can feel quite painful when you've put a lot of time and effort into something, you've missed that one little thing and someone else knows about it and they let you know. But I just felt recently that doing these reviews is not where I came from. And when I say where I came from, it's a million miles from that little old lady that needed to know about her mobile, mobile to know about her mobile phone. So this is what's led the change or the channel update for me today. I was definitely most happiest on this channel when I was kind of adding value. Not when I was doing Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials each, each day, but when I was kind of taking a bit of value from each thing. So for instance, I enjoyed the tutorials, Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials, but I didn't enjoy doing them all the time. I thoroughly enjoyed the vlogs, probably the most out of everything, but I didn't want to do them every single week because it became a very stressful experience where I couldn't always get out and I didn't want to kind of heat that pressure on myself. And I enjoy testing new products, but I know that that's not the most valuable thing for people to see. You know, not everyone wants to know about the latest camera two or three times a week. So there's little bits of everything which I enjoy, but there's also, you know, things that I don't enjoy about each. So the update, the channel update for me is going to be about going out and doing vlogs again. Definitely, I'm going to be doing vlogs on this channel. They're going to be landscape photography vlogs and I'm going to be out visiting beautiful locations again because I thoroughly enjoyed it. But I'm not going to heap that pressure on myself in which I have to be out every week. So they're more than likely to be probably two, three times absolute maximum per month. And I'm going to be happy with that because I know that I'm going to be enjoying it and it's not going to be something which is unattainable. But I'm also going to do tutorials because I feel that I can add the most value and I can help people in the most ways by doing tutorials. So if someone's got a problem, I can hopefully fix that for them. Or if they just need to know something that's going to make a big difference to them, then I can provide them with that information. And that's going to make me feel great. And it's also going to make them feel good. So, or you, who's watching. And of course, there will be some reviews but the reviews are also going to be a little bit different. I'm not just going to be reviewing them um, just, you know, out and about. I'm going to do it in something that I enjoy, which is landscape photography or outdoors photography. So I'm going to do more kind of real world reviews on products and they're going to be a lot less reviews. I'm not going to be doing them all the time, but just enjoy doing it and doing it in something that's kind of more suited to the channel rather than, you know, just going out and doing it about this that no one really cares about. And yeah, so that, that's the channel update, guys. I, I really do apologize if I've waffled on a lot, but I wanted to just get it out. I wanted to talk to you almost face to face as much as you can do with the camera and just explain to you what the channel is going to be doing and just to be honest and open with you so that you can really understand what kind of videos are going to be coming. Anyway, with all of that said, all of that, I really want to thank you for watching this channel update. And uh, I'm really looking forward to the future videos coming. I hope you are. 
And I want to say just quickly at the end, a few big thank yous to some people which mean a real lot to me. Some people which have supported the channel since day one. And one of them people is Tom O'Neill. Tom has been such a big support for me. He's actually a photographer on YouTube and he's made, uh, he's been making videos for I think around about the same amount of time as me actually, about 18 months. So we started at a similar time. He's a lovely guy, he's always been really supportive. He's a great photographer. And if you haven't already, go and check out Tom's channel. I'll leave a description to that at the end of the video and in the description. And also other people as well. I mean, the inspiration I got from Tim was huge. Uh, I don't know if Tim's watching the video now, but you know, Tim really inspired me to kind of get out there. Not that he was speaking to me saying, Ben, get out and do photography, but just watching his videos and seeing, I kind of saw myself in him that there was just someone like me that just had a passion for it and he was going out and doing it. And that was a big inspiration. So I wanna thank them two people for making a big difference for me. And hopefully my videos can make a big difference for you going forward. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for staying with this video. And whatever you do for the rest of the day, make sure it's a great one. And I'll see you in the next video.